Hi everyone, I'd like to take a minute to talk about TinyMT and Gen 6 RNG. It sucks. Don't do it. Okay, that's not exactly true. But I did want to say that Gen 6 RNG is significantly harder than Gen 7 because of TinyMT. Now, now I've said TinyMT a few times in the past, so let's actually bring this up and show you why. So first off, we got our RNG tool, and I'm doing something just most, just a normal wild here in Gen Gen 6 or 1x, whatever. So you look, you see, we've got our spread here, and you'll notice. Okay, we got our IVs and everything. We've got our nature sync, all of its X. What's going on there? We got, and then we got our hidden power type and our PSV and all this other stuff. But you might notice this is wild. Why? Why don't we have? Why don't we have an, an encounter slot? And that's because we have TinyMT here. Boom. So TinyMT is a subset of the RNG which has four distinct seeds and it advances in a somewhat predictable manner and that controls a lot of things. It controls your encounter slot, whether or not you'll actually have an encounter. Um, sorry, allow me to yeah, it, it controls your um, whether or not you'll have an encounter here. It'll control what encounter slot you get. It controls whether it has an item. I don't know what this is, but it's probably important. <laughs> but and oh, oh yeah, whether or not you'll have sync. So any sort of RNG for a random Pokemon will have to use TinyMT in some manner. So the good news is that if you don't care what Pokemon you get, you just want to find a wild Pokemon and, and RNG it. And get get shiny. Then you can use this and be happy because this this also controls the shininess and everything. But if you care about what Pokemon you get, you're gonna have to use the Tiny MT tool, and it's very finicky. The tool isn't amazing, even though there's been so much work done over the years on Gen 6 and RNG. But it is it is difficult. I've had quite a quite a uh, quite a few frustrating moments with it. On top of that, Gen 6 doesn't have a lot of the same mechanisms that Gen 7 has in such that you could just use Honey to get a random encounter. You can, however, in Gen 6, Honey only gives you um, the Horde encounters, where you battle five Pokemon. So if you want to encounter, like, let's say you want to get a uh, Metacham Shiny, well, he only appears in one cave, and if you're to, you can't use Honey to get it, so you have to go ahead and use the Tiny Timeline tool to figure out when you will actually have an encounter. Uh, yeah, keep going. Find out when you'll actually have an encounter, and then there we go. It's like one of these will have an encounter, and then you have to make it shiny, and then you have to take a step. It's significantly more complicated than in Gen Seven. If, again, if you just want a horde encounter, a horde shiny, again, that's e that's fairly easy to do. So, I want to talk about Tiny MT and why I'm not a huge fan. But that's not going to stop us. We're still going to RNG this. We're still going to get some good results out of it. And there are a few things that Gen Six has going for it. So we'll get into that as we get there. But yeah, that that this definitely is a damper. Um, in, in the whole generation as a whole, it, it, for, as far as RNG abuse, so not talking about the games themselves. So next time we're going to get into this, and I'll be spending a lot of time talking about this screen right here, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Ish. Someone will have fun, hopefully. I will see you all next time.